Hello and welcome to Jeremy's Retro Bar. I'm Jeremy and this is my Retro Bar. Um, bar part, not so much uh, using this card as a stand-in, but the surroundings are getting more completed. I got the shelf done this week, so I'm pretty excited about that. I've always been fascinated with the late 90s and early 2000s trend of making internet appliances. The whole idea of like trying to get everybody online, to get everybody connected, and to do it cheaply, and in order to do it cheaply, trying to make these really single-use devices that you would just get email and internet, and kind of that's about it. And there was this big push of all these weird devices, uh, mostly in the early 2000s, but some in the late 90s, and so this week we're going to take a look at one of them, the 3Com Ergo Audrey. But first, we're going to need to make ourselves a drink. For today's drink, we'll be making the Audrey Sparkling Cocktail. I'll provide a link where I found the recipe in the description. We'll need one orange cut into wedges, brown sugar, 1.5 ounces of Martini Rosa, the juice of one half of the orange, and one third cup of Prosecco, and some ice, and a glass. I'm just gonna take one of the wedges and run it around the edge of the rocks glass. Get the brown sugar on there. I'm gonna put some ice in our cup. Then we're gonna take 1.5 ounces of Team Russo. And then we're gonna juice one half of this orange, which is probably gonna cause a mess, but we'll see. And then we're just gonna top it off one third cup of the Prosecco. Now we have a nice refreshing drink to enjoy while we hear a little history on the 3Com Ergo Audrey. Cheers. The 3Com Ergo Audrey was released on October 17th of the year 2000 for the cost of 500 US dollars. Audrey would get its users online using a built-in dial-up modem or via an optional ethernet to USB adapter. It ran a QNX based operating system had a 7.6 inch touchscreen with a 640 by 480 VGA resolution and enabled you to browse the web, send and receive emails, sync with two Palm devices, and even play audio and video files. Pretty much everything an early 2000s web user could ever need. The Audrey is powered by a 200 megahertz geode GX1 CPU with 16 megabytes of flash ROM and 32 megabytes of RAM. Audrey was the brainchild of Don Foch and Ray Winninger. They wanted a family of Ergo devices, each designed for a different room of the house. Audrey's room was supposed to be the kitchen, which was seen as the heart of the house. Unfortunately, that dream was never realized. Audrey was the only Ergo device to ever be released, and on June 1st, 2001, it was discontinued. Once it was discontinued, you could purchase the Audrey pretty cheaply, and the hacking community got to work updating QNX, updating the browser, making it more usable, using the compact flash storage, and even making it into a digital photo frame. Now that we've heard the history, let's take a look at the hardware. You can see that it has this keyboard, and the keyboard hooks around back here. It's a little plastic tray that it can actually go into. It's infrared, so you do have to still be line of sight when you use it. And that's going to connect right here. You can see the keyboard. It uses two AAA batteries. So on the unit itself, you can see that the top has a stylus. When there's email, the stylus is supposed to light up. I think it uses a little bit of Kind of what's in fiber optics to make that happen. Top of the device has two speakers. You can actually lay it flat if you wanted to, and the keyboard would still work at that angle, which is pretty nice actually. It seems like it should want to be a handheld, but it has to be plugged in. You've got your three device buttons, your two setting buttons, your knob, and then your email. Around back, you can see we have our volume up and down. 
This little guy here is a compact flash reader. If we take this plastic off, we can get a, a view of what our options are to connect. So here we have the serial port and that's gonna connect to a Palm device. So if you wanna sync your calendar and contacts and everything to your Palm OS based device, that's gonna do it for you. Down here we've got a stereo mini jack, two USB ports, and then over here, you've got your line out to the data and then your telephone so you could have your telephone right next to it, and then that's your power adapter. The viewing angle is actually pretty terrible, so I have to adjust myself here to, to get to it so that I can see what I'm actually looking at. So, um, so it's wanting the date and time. It tried to connect to a time server, but I'm sure the one that they wanted no longer exists. 23 p.m. And we can see here's the guide. It says updating channels, please wait. Of course, it's not gonna find any updates to any channels because again, these channels don't exist anymore. So this is the intro screen. It's just showing everything that we can do. Date book, browser, address book, actions palette, on off switch, channel selector, and mail. Go ahead and hit the on off switch. It kind of puts it in a standby. When I hit it again, it just comes back from that. So that's not a true on off switch, it's more of a standby switch. And we have our channel selector. And if I dial that, it shows me these other selectors. And of course, first thing I picked is ABC News. It says this channel is not currently available. ESPN, Mr. Showbiz, CBS Market Watch, AccuWeather.com, Digital City, Drugstore.com, Food.com, CyberBills, and then here it gives us the option to add a new channel, and then takes us back to our intro screen. If I go to Date Book, this gives me Year View versus a Month View. And then I get a list, no events, and a schedule. And I'm just gonna add an event for tonight. And uh, event type is gonna say dinner. Cool. And I'm gonna say done. And now we can see dinner is on my schedule. And then list just gives me a list view. Dinner and sleep for tonight. So you can see here, I've sent myself an email on the Audrey, and you can see how the stylus lights up green, and also the email button lights up green, telling you that you got a new email, which is actually pretty cool. So we're just gonna go to our email. And we can see that I've sent myself this email, and go ahead and tap on it. Can see I made myself a little welcome message and I had also attached an image to it and it looks like that image does not show up <laughs> so that's a shame so then I can reply forward keep as new or delete I'm just gonna go ahead and delete makes that fun sound and you can see we got old sent sending later and if I were to create a new mail, I actually have the option to scribble something. So I can just say like, if we go over to web browser, you can see I have the welcome to the old internet, uh, the old net.com, which is nice because it's formatted in a way that these old browsers can read it. and see all my animated GIFs and uh, got a couple of things I can take a look at. So <laughs> all the tags, like a classic GeoCities site. So I'm just gonna do a search for Star Trek here that they suggest. 
And we'll go to Dave's homepage of Babylon 5 Star Trek and Star Wars picks. Let's see if that actually loads. trying. There we go. So you can see we can browse the web just like it was in 2000. I actually think I had this image set as a background back then. That's amazing. Very cool. And there you have it. It's the 3Com Ergo Audrey. It's a Really cool looking device. I like the lack of wire for the keyboard. I like the unique stylus holder here. I really like it from a hardware perspective, but it doesn't do anything. It would be cool if we could get to some websites, load photos on it, do something with it. I still think it looks cool. It's, you know, gonna sit on one of these shelves and look awesome. And uh, I'm gonna keep exploring these weird late 90s net appliances and see if any of them can be useful in any sort of uh, a way in, moder in the modern era. I might make a future video where I try to do the hacking that was available and uh, see if that adds functionality that would make this even more useful uh, or if it continues to be not useful because the hacks were also from that same era and might not actually add that much functionality. If you want to see more videos like this about weird late 90s or early 2000s net appliances, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe below and uh, I'll see you next time.